Fishing kayaks range in price from under 300 bucks to over $5,000 plus accessories, but more expensive doesn't mean better for everyone. Let's take a look at all four of my fishing kayaks to see why there's such a huge range in prices and what these different levels of kayaks offer. I fished out of this super simple 9.5 foot Old Town Otter for over 15 years and caught everything from bluegills to muskie and salmon. The kayak itself was about 250 bucks, and I added about $100 worth of accessories to it. It's lightweight, streamlined, and very easy to maneuver. However, you can't stand in this kayak, you can't carry much gear, it's not all that comfortable for long trips, and it's best suited to calm water. These do make awesome kayaks for kids. Some easy modifications can make a big difference on a kayak like this, like rod holders, cleats to tie up a stringer or tie the kayak to a dock or a tree, and bungee cords to hold some gear. Basic kayaks usually have a little bit of storage for a small bag of tackle or some snacks and water. Sit inside kayaks like this one tend to have space behind the seat and also some space around your feet. The seats tend to be very uncomfortable for long trips, so if you add some padding to the seat, it can make a longer trip much more enjoyable. One easy modification that can really improve a basic kayak like this is the addition of footrests. These allow you to keep your feet planted and it will greatly increase your comfort and your ability to control the boat, especially in rough water. A paddle holder is also highly recommended because you're really limited on space in these small kayaks. A basic kayak has the advantage of being very cheap and really easy to transport because of its small size and light weight. I would highly recommend a simple fishing kayak like an Old Town Otter if you like to hop around to lots of small lakes, if you only spend a few hours at a time fishing, or if you want to explore hard to get to spots. If you move up in price to about $450, you can get a specially designed fishing kayak like this 10.5 foot perception hook. Moving up into this category will get you features like molded in handles, a drain plug, or a tri-keel hull for better tracking and stability. This kayak also offers a large tank well area with scupper holes, plenty big enough to hold a fishing crate and other gear, molded flush mount rod holders, a more comfortable and adjustable seat, a molded dashboard for placing a few lures, a phone, rod holders, or a sonar mount, and bungee shock cords. The molded in handles are far more secure if you're locking up your kayak somewhere, and believe me, getting a lure stuck in a rope handle is a major pain. If this happens when you're out by yourself, you have to cut the line or paddle to shore to get your lure out. If you add some rod holders and a basic fish finder to a perception hook, you've got a very capable and affordable fishing kayak. The perception hook also comes with a factory installed anchor trolley system, footrests, and a rod holder, and compared to the basic kayaks, it offers a higher weight capacity and a lot more storage space. At a weight of 55 pounds, it can still be carried on your shoulder, carried overhead like a canoe, or dragged through a shallow stream on the way to your favorite hidden fishing spot. Ten and a half feet is a really nice sized fishing kayak for small lakes and rivers. This one also can hold its own just fine on big water too. There's really nothing like catching muskies and salmon out of a lightweight kayak. Now we move up into some serious fishing kayaks with a more serious price. The Old Town Predator MX is a 12-foot kayak with a weight capacity of 400 pounds, minus the weight of the kayak itself. This kayak can easily be stood up in and even paddled around like a paddleboard. Other similar models would include the Vibe Sea Ghost, the Bonafide RS117, or the Old Town Sportsman line. You can bring your dog or your kid with you on the Predator MX and still have plenty of space. And if you want to explore big water with fast currents or waves, you'll be able to do that with a stable kayak like this one. It does weigh over 80 pounds though, so plan on using a small cart or a second person to carry it around, or you can launch it directly from a small trailer. For the hefty $1,300 price tag, it comes with a variety of factory features like molded handles, waterproof storage, a textured standing deck, footrests, removable mounting plates for accessories, an adjustable oversized seat, two factory flush mount rod holders in the back, and a large rear tank well for a crate and other gear. This is a great kayak with a ton of factory features, but it has a lot of room for customization to suit your fishing style and local conditions. The removable mounting plates make it easy to mount accessories and even change the layout later if you want without putting any holes in the kayak itself. One of the biggest advantages of a kayak in this category is that you can stand up. This gives you the opportunity to stretch your legs on a long trip, but it also just gives you so much more space to move around. Some types of fishing like topwater frog fishing, pitching jigs, or sight fishing are so much easier from a standing position. The other huge advantage is stability. You can walk around in a Predator MX, lean way over, or haul a giant fish in the boat without any problem. 
If you fall out of a kayak like this one, it's also easier to get back in. Sit-on-top fishing kayaks are more likely to dump you off than actually flip over. And since they almost all self-drain through scupper holes, it's pretty easy to climb back in. Check out our one-on-one -on -one kayak fishing tournament video where I'm hauling in loads of pike from the Predator MX on the Mississippi River. Okay, now we're at the top of the line fishing kayaks, with one example being the Old Town PDL series. We'll take a close look at the Sportsman 120 PDL, which costs $2,500 and has a 500 pound weight capacity, minus the kayak's 116 pound weight itself. Count on using a small cart like this Sea Tug from Railblazer to move one of these kayaks down a trail or across a parking lot. A small trailer or a truck will be needed to transport and launch a kayak like this. I use a small trailer and back it right up to the water to save time. Other similar boats in this category would be things like the Hobie Pro Angler 12 and Pro Angler 14, the Bonafide SS127, or the Native Slayer Max. Many of these come with pedal drive systems, which are a total game changer when fighting big fish that like to drag you around. Several models in this category even have electric motors like the Old Town Autopilot or Sportsman 106 MK. This category is also the most expensive, the heaviest, and the most difficult to paddle or portage. Let's take a closer look at the Old Town Sportsman 120 PDL. For its high price, you're getting a lot of waterproof storage, a pedal drive system, soft deck pads for standing, side track mounts for accessories, an amazingly comfortable and adjustable seat, lots of space, a huge rear tank well for a fishing crate and other gear, a rudder, and more. The rudder is deployed and raised with a lever on the right side, and a handle on the left side allows you to control the rudder position left and right. You also get incredible stability for standing up, battling a giant fish, or heading out into rough water like Lake Michigan as you see here. The Sportsman PDL's hull is carved out a bit behind the keel guard to accommodate a sonar transducer. Installation is really easy because the boat was designed to be used with a sonar system. Many of the other kayaks in this category are also designed to be used with sonar systems. Pedal drive kayaks come in bicycle style drives and fin style drives. A fin style drive system is pushed back and forth with your feet and it powers a couple of long fins underneath the boat that move side to side. You can see the easy back and forth motion on this Hobie Pro Angler 12 that allows Sean to maintain forward motion while casting, drinking, taking a phone call, whatever. The bicycle style spins an actual propeller which is very efficient and fast. The prop is surprisingly durable too. I've broken one prop when I hit a stump at really high speed in really dirty water so I couldn't see the stump. Replacing a prop on the water only takes about two minutes with basic tools. The drive on the Old Town PDL series has an instant reverse too. No need to pull or adjust anything to switch to reverse. When you're fighting a big fish with both hands and it's yanking you into a downed tree or a low bridge, you're going to appreciate being able to backpedal using only your feet. The biggest downside of the bicycle style drives is that a propeller is much more prone to loading up with vegetation than a fin style drive is. Fins will get hung up once in a while, but a prop can get hung up in pretty light vegetation. With any type of pedal drive system, you won't be able to use the drive at all in thick vegetation. You'll have to use your paddle or built up momentum to get into those areas. Regardless of what you choose to buy, kayak fishing is a ton of fun and you'll have a blast. Be safe out there and we'll catch you back here next time.